Alrighty, so here we are set up with the new version of the honey pump, the latest one. Um, a little bit overcast today, not an ideal day for harvesting, but we'll give it a shot. I'm wearing new gloves. Thank you, Dylan. These are great. Nice and supple and with no holes. And I've also picked up a lot of little weevily looking things. I don't know what they are, but they're cool. They're everywhere. There's a, there's a big, a big weird looking one here. Let's see if I can grab him without freaking him out. Here we go. Look at that. Focus. <laughs> what a weird looking critter. Okay. So for now, okay. for now I'm just going to power this with a drill and to uh, see how we go. So. I uh, haven't cracked this frame yet. Um, we've got a little bit of a dribble here from just the first because there's always a bit of honey in the bottom of the trough. Um, so I'll run a little test, see if I can drive the, the dregs out and then um, crack the frame and let it flow. There's going to be a lot of background noise in this video I'm afraid. Because the drill. Now that that worked pretty damn well. Right, it has jammed. Hmm. Ah, looks like the feed chain is snapped. It's lost all tension. No, well, that can't be the case. Hmm. What's going on here? This is going to be messy. It's still wrapped around there fine. But we've lost a bunch of tension for some reason. But um, the fact that this gutter filled up almost immediately tells me that the dragging the bead through the honey is uh, going to be a good, a good option for pumping the honey. So I'm wondering if it's snagged on something inside. But there shouldn't be anything inside. Maybe the little guide at the end that guides the bead chain out of the pipe has slipped off something. Because it won't wind past that point. Oh, yeah it will. Okay. Interesting. Let's give it another shot. Drill. Picked up another little weebly friend. Okay, so it looks like the drive gears have slipped off the shaft. Yeah, that shaft is just freewheeling now. Ha! <laughs> Let him go. Whee! Um, hmm. What sucks? It's like the drive gear, the gears that interface to the bead chain are now sort of free floating and they're not all attached to the, the shaft. Um, let me see if I can see down. Oh no, that's not the case. That the bead chain has slipped off the spool, slipped off the sprocket. And it's now just sort of sitting loose in there. So I suspect the bead chain has snapped. Yeah, it's starting to unwind down the pipe here. Um, hmm, okay, so it probably came apart at the join, 
I don't know why that didn't happen during my testing inside. Maybe the additional work it's having to do to pull the honey out um, is too much for it. So I think I might need to look at a better bead chain joining system. Okay, well, this test was a success in that it immediately filled up the pipe with loads of honey, um, which I think is a good sign. I'm going to see if I can fix this out here. If not, I might just have to drain this frame the traditional way, because um, we've got a lot of people chasing honey. Okay, goodbye. Okay, I've replaced the bead chain. Let's give this another shot. That is working incredibly well, right up until it jammed again. There we go. Like that has emptied the gutter entirely. Holy moly. That uh, I'm um, yee, happy with that. Okay, let's crack the entire frame. Oh. It's a tough one. Oh, maybe I'll do it in sections. Right. So you can see that this stainless shaft has lost traction on the drive sprocket inside there. So that was just held on there with a touch of super glue to glue the sprocket onto the shaft. But it looks as though that is not sufficient. Also, my jaw's running out of batteries. Okay. So I'll revert back to the old style. But um, that is super duper quick. So I think once I solve the issues with the cord getting jammed and the shaft slippage, maybe I'll like rough up the shaft to give the glue something more to stick to because this is ground stainless rod. Um, I reckon we're on to a winner here. Just going to solve a few implementation problems. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. So I slid this out, hit it a bunch with my welding hammer, 
and then drifted it back in. And now it's got pretty good grip. Look at it go! That's, that's that. It's empty. Holy moly. So there's still a lot of honey drizzling down into the gutter, but that emptied the gutter in a couple of seconds. Well, like a minute. Um, so if I give it another bit of a zap, it might draw... I don't know how much you can hear with the drill going and me talking, but I'll give it another go and see if there's enough honey drizzled down. That trough's empty. Um, so um, while I was repairing this, I had this just draining under gravity. So it had plenty of time for the honey to drizzle out of the frame, fill up the gutter, and then sort of go down the pipe under gravity. But you saw the amount of honey that came through. So that's all honey that would be trapped in the gutter when I put the bung back in that would drizzle down inside the hive and the bees would collect up and recycle. Um, so I'm going to go back to one, two, three, frame three here and redrain it without recracking the frame and see how much more honey I get out of this one that previously um, wouldn't go to waste, but it would go back into the hive. My phone's giving me a low storage warning. Hopefully the video quality is okay. Honey on my shoes, honey on my shoes, honey dribbling onto my shoes. I love that. That works exceptionally well. All right, I'm going to go through and drain the rest of the frames. This is awesome. Okay, bye. Okay, I am extremely happy with how this has worked out now. After some initial teething problems, but um, once I worked out a better way to join the bead cord and roughed up that shaft so it engages properly, I reckon this is this proves the concept perfectly well. So there's a few improvements for the next version. Um, this complicated series of joiner pipe businesses here um, stung me pretty bad um, because once this big long thick vinyl pipe was completely full of honey it weighed so much it just ripped that join straight out. Um, so I think I'm going to have to simplify this arrangement here um, such that there's just a single pipe coming off the bottom of the pump. Um, but yeah like once the trough is full a couple of seconds at medium throttle and this is 100% full of honey and 100% honey coming out the bottom so I'd say this will do the job um, so yeah just simplification make it easy to assemble and and uh, biggest uh, improvement is mo mounting a motor on the top with a gear to transmit the power down to that shaft so I don't have to use a drill and I can just slap a battery on it Leave it run uh, to, to drain it super quick. Okay, success. Bye bye.